Well, very good morning to you and once again here in Addington where Addo, it's going to be Addo 12, Sado nil. Yep, this camera still hasn't been repaired. It's been well and truly, well and truly mullered. We well, attempted to be block it to block it legally from being installed multiple times. They uh, forced us. Of course, they were uh, the cameras were then stolen, smashed up, whatever happened to them, and then of course uh, probably finished off once and for all because it was filled with concrete. Uh, so it literally made it impossible to repair, impossible to remove, and impossible to dig up. Um, so this hasn't been replaced, but this isn't the only one. Exactly the same thing has happened just across the road there. Uh, on that corner, you'll see there's a pole that's being chopped. There's another one at the next road. Uh, exactly the same thing has happened. But that's not all. That's not all. You see, the people of Addington have said, no, listen, no, you're not having units in Addington. Not at all. Not at all. Okay. Um, so I'm going to show you what else is going on. So the next road, they're attempting to put in. I I'm on, but I'm not. I'm not live. I'm just recording. <laughs> they're attempting to put a. Uh, is it a box this morning? Is it? Just video. Yeah, just a video. Don't steal my glory. Don't steal my glory. This is Claire Dyer. No, no, no. Can't steal, can't steal Claire Dyer's glory. No. She's, she's still listening to it. Tell, tell us what's going on this morning. Oh well, look, it's James. Morning, James. How you doing, mate? You right? And he's parked across someone's drive, but he don't care about that. He's, he, he's, 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 really he's, like. he's smiling. He's, he's happy. He's in good. He's, he's, in, he's, in, he's in good spirits. I'm sorry, darling. He's grimacing. He's doing he's his. Grimacing. He's doing his job, and he's being he's being all right about it. <laughs> he's probably the most hated security though. <laughs> he, he, he gets paid. He gets paid when we works or not. So well, on Friday. Uh, on Friday. Did you know on Friday that your security was too scared to actually turn up and do his job and protect them? So he, he never actually arrived at scene. He just drove up around apparently. Uh, I haven't heard that. That's where it, uh, no, I know because I went looking for him and he was not around. When was he on Friday? Biggin Hill? Last Friday. Yeah, last Friday. Last Friday. So where he should have been doing what you're doing right now, standing with the van, making sure that they don't get attacked. We wouldn't attack you. We would never hurt. <laughs> well, that's we're, the whole we're, point. We're, not, we're nice people. We do, we do, th know, we do things nicely. <laughs> We're always, we're, we're always, we're always polite. <laughs> well, we are. Yeah, we, we are, we, we are. We can't account for everyone else. We can't, no, that's, but... that's true. Some people are, but not, we, we are polite. So, but right, all, so not, not, not stealing Claire's glory. This is Claire Dyer. Tell us what's going on today, Claire. Well, I just told you. <laughs> well, no, we you, haven't told you. You haven't told James me. James is there. You've said James is there. there. The donor have come to install a box to put a, a camera box. there. They've done right. it. They've tried many, many times and they've never managed. And that's the same literally everywhere, isn't it? They they can't get it. No, they just can't do it. They can't get it in because and we've, we've, we've got a little do. team here. Well done, guys. You all right? Yeah. Say hello. Yeah. <laughs> so so we're oh, preventing okay. a box being installed. So where would the box be being installed? Right there. Well, there's a plate already there. Oh, there's a plate here. Oh, there. Yeah. Right, okay. So we've, oh, we've, so we've made a start on it, no, 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 no. but there's bits there. missing already. Oh, I see. Oh no, what's happened here? What a shame. I, looks, I swear that looks like there was a box there and it's been ripped off. It has. That's a shame. So that means they can't put another one in. But, um, there's, there's only one at the end of the road. Or the box. Well, but also on what Friday, is it? But also what on Friday, is it? we were in Biggin Hill at Saltbox for a boxing stall, which they've yeah. never managed to get in. But we also had a two day permit Thursday and Friday for a pole foundation, yeah. which has got a plate. So basically, they needed to redo that. Going, so we also covered that for two days. They never turned up. Yeah. So but we've, we've got we've got loads coming. It's just repetitive, <laughs> isn't it? They just keep keep, they just keep doing keep it, coming. keep doing it, keep doing it, keep wasting taxpayers' money. Oh, well, no one's doing that. No, 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 absolutely. So, so they can't even stop wasting but, taxpayers' money. They don't want it. You're but, not having it. But apparently on LBC this yeah, morning, they're yeah. trying to bring in some law to stop protesters if it's causing an obstruction. So we'll wait and see for that one. Are we turning into Russia? Is that what's happening? You're not allowed to protest. I mean, come on, right? If, if you're protesting legally, just blocking no, something no, by no, install, no, that's that's a legal protest, surely. No, no. Obviously, we don't condone people chopping them down and doing that kind of thing. But surely, if you stop people protesting legally, you're giving them no choice but to. Well, this is a public pavement. Know. It's a it's a public pavement on the corner of the road, and all we Absolutely. have here is a handful of people standing here having just, a cup of tea and just some donuts. Being on the pavement. Um, That's right. Yeah. You know, they, we're not causing an obstruction because they haven't attempted to do anything. There's no one here. There's no one here doing anything. So you know, <laughs> there's no barriers up. There's no roadworks. There's no 
men about to dig, so you know we're just standing here. Absolutely. So how can they bring in potentially bring in a law <laughs> to say you to, to, to say you, you can't stand here? Or so in other words, I, I can stand here. There you go. You're not being involved. Then problem solved. <laughs> it's going to make us physically move. But um, yeah, J James likes to block people's driveways in, as you can see. Oh, okay. So he's, he's blocking people's driveways, so that's okay. He doesn't care. He doesn't care because no. he wants to do well, that. They, they think that they're, they're allowed to break any law. I mean, he said it's because he's had something done to his car. Well, regardless of that, I said, well, what if my car was always getting vandalised in my house? Does that give me the right to park over someone else's drive? No, no. Of course not. Oh, I'll get told off for that. I don't know. What exactly is the law on that? I don't know. I'm a bit stupid. If you park across someone's drive. Is that an obstruction? It's James calls no, an obstruction if, now. If the car's it's, not ja there, it's James. I it's James. It's James. It's James protesting right now. <laughs> he protesting about James, people. you're protesting right now about people's driveway. <laughs> <laughs> protesting about people living there. So, <laughs> because that's, it's actually that's that's silly, isn't it? Because if you're going to bring in um, a law to stop protesting as what we're so doing right now, then then there should be some law as to right. what he's, he's doing, doing right now. He's, he's, he's standing on their drive now. He's standing there, yeah. he's standing, are you standing on their drive? I don't know. I don't know. Are you on their private Thomas property? The oh. <laughs> James, you know if you've got a better job, you would have been treated differently. Yeah. But there's enough the road's closed But we don't hate we don't hate these yeah. guys. Um, Security are just a league of their own. The yeah. <laughs> You've got to be really thick skinned. You know, thick <laughs> skinned. <laughs> Was there a slide dig in there? Was there a slide dig in there? <laughs> well, you know, me and James go way back, don't we? Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, you, you know, there's always been banter. Just every now and then, he likes to act out, you know, and just be a bit nasty or flex his muscles. Mm, yes, which he, yes. He does he quite. He does like, likes to promote. He does like to show. flex his muscles, and sometimes yeah. he likes to. Just give what's you a bit of a hard time for no what's, reason what's whatsoever. What's happening with the other two uh, around the corner? Are they doing anything? Obviously, you've got concrete around the corner. What, my nemesis? The, um, just around the corner here, those yeah. two goddamn poles. Yeah. <laughs> doing right. one's, one's filled with concrete and the other one's just been chopped down for ages. Thing, they haven't come for ages for that. Yeah. Or yeah. The one, or Do they need oh, permits for them now? I suppose with the concrete one, they'd need the permits well, to excavate it. I think what will happen is the same thing as before. I think they'll try and turn up, unless they already know. Yeah. Um, or, do you think they, or do you think they've learnt their lesson and realised that Addo said no? <laughs> And no. Sado can go to hell. No, they're never going to say Addo, Addo 12, Sado nil. Yeah. <laughs> but, well, you know, let's go, let's get, get, go talk about that Biggin Hill, eh? Nil. Yeah, yeah, let's talk about Biggin Hill. I mean, Biggin Hill is like, what, like a hundred odd? Yeah. To nil. No, yeah. no boxes, no poles, no cameras. Oh, it's costing yeah. them a fortune. Um, no signs, you yeah. know, still, still, still not getting anywhere. Sure yeah. It's a bit busy here. But um, I don't know. I think, I think they'll either put a permit in, or they'll turn up and they'll do what they did last time and put an emergency permit in. Yeah. But they broke. What, what's the definition of an emergency oh. permit? I mean, what is that? Well, they're not allowed well, to. Then. They're only allowed to put an emergency it's permit in for actual. Surely, emergencies emergency. like gas and electric. Well, yeah, or, yeah. it is. So when they put that emergency yeah. permit yeah. in to get that hole out, that to dig it out, that was actually well, that illegal. Yeah. They weren't allowed to do it. But after but they right. just put that permit yeah. in. Yeah. Croydon just cut down, didn't they? Croydon just allowed it, and they just did the works. But they they didn't even have traffic management. Yeah. They didn't have road signs. Um, or anything to make that to be fair secure, with traffic management will you mean like cones and traffic lights and things like that yeah, they're supposed to be, be fair they probably don't do it because there's these fuckers that go around throwing them and lobbing them in the bushes um, when they're causing, a, they're causing an obstruction I wouldn't know anything about that there's supposed to be traffic management on this one Oh really? Okay. Oh. Yeah, from memory, I believe there's traffic management on this one. So, right, okay. uh, yeah, they should be coming with traffic lights and stuff to set up. They should be able to do this. Oh, okay. Half the time they, they don't turn up. Yeah. Or they turn up extremely late. Yeah. But these these guys, this permit is for half past nine. Yeah. But these guys were here at seven o'clock this morning. What time are we here? Uh, I think first guy got here at just after half seven. But okay. Get this one. So they were there first, and then we turn up. They still yeah. didn't stop us turning up. Oh, I don't know. Did you get here before them? Wait, yeah. This morning. Yeah. Oh, you what did what time did you get here? Well, guess what, though? But guess what, right? This is, this is how good we are. I'm going to be really egotistical no, 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 now. No, no, Go for it. Go this, for is, it. this is how good we are, right? They were spotted this morning on the M26. We've got a new oh, So we, we'd already seen them this morning <laughs> on the M26. And, uh, and uh, they got told that they were seen, and they're like, God, you've got eyes everywhere. And we were like, yeah, we have eyes everywhere. Absolutely. Like, I know, I know they're already on their way to... She's our box blocking cat. 
She's trying to scare the vans off because she's our box booking cat. Well, you, they were over in Kingston as well today. Yeah. They're in Glenbuck. Uh, right, okay. Road, I think it is in Kingston. We got anyone over there? Yeah, 100%. I'm on it. Well done, Kaya. Well, this, girl, this girl's <laughs> fucking brilliant. Well, 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 well done. Well done. No, good for you. Yeah, the only ones I don't get involved oh, with is really Bexley's lot. Yeah, yeah. They've both got it sewn up there. And Killington and Belton. Yeah. Like that sewn up. Yeah. But yeah, everywhere, everywhere else, yeah, I'm on there. Well done. Yeah, so. Okay, so let's say, for example, uh, a traffic light, I'm not, not condemning this, by the way. Let's say, for example, a traffic light gets chopped down and the camera goes missing. Do they need to have another permit again to fix that? No. They don't. Well, I don't believe they do, do they, to fix the traffic light? That's no. just emergency works, isn't it? Right, okay. Okay, sorry. No, I don't get involved in that. Oh, I'm not suggesting people do no, that. I'm just, no, I'm, I'm, just trying to, I'm just trying to figure out, you know, is, 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 is it our, you know, if traffic lights go missing. In uh, all honesty, no, I really, I, I, I don't, I don't know because I don't get involved really once they're on the upside, you know, that upstage. Yeah. Once that pole and that camera is up and if it comes down, that obviously once, you know, pole's chops and it's not even traffic lights, no, they don't need a permit. They can just come whenever and put a camera up. Right. Um, but I don't know about traffic lights because obviously if they need repairing, yeah, yeah. I, I still think that would just that will go down as an emergency. Yeah, right. So you gotcha. wouldn't know. You wouldn't know beforehand. Yeah. So um, how's that? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's Glen Buck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. Um, I think they were, they were there. I don't know how early they were, but obviously no, they still had to travel all the way around, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. I don't really know that area that well. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, I don't. I don't really know. Once once it's past permit stage, I don't get involved in that. Okay. <laughs> I let others do that one. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, well done. Well, you're doing a fantastic job. Well done, guys. Well, I say we don't know how long it'll be. It's just when they decide to call it off, and we just have to make sure as well. Do you think they'll call it off, go around the corner, and come back? And try and catch no, us out. No, generally not. No, they don't do that. Yeah. No. And that, uh, from from what I kind of know, they not, you know, they don't just do. What time does their permit expire? I'm not sure if this one is 2:30 today or five. They it, they're all different. They could be eight till six, um, 9:30 till five, 9:30 to 3:30 or 2:30. They're all they're all different really. Yeah. Um, but we we've learned from it. Obviously, we know that this company don't just do ULES work. Yeah. They do other works as well, so yeah, they yeah. might have multiple jobs on. So yeah, I don't know. Happy days. Don't know. But people always keep an eye on it anyway. So yeah. you know, people who live in the area will just you know, as they're driving <coughs> past, keep a, keep an eye out. So yeah. but generally, generally as a rule, um, the permit comes down. So yeah, yeah. Once the permit comes down. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, technically, they should be putting in emergency permits for works like this. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it just depends what each council is like, really. Yeah, yeah. As to what each council will allow and sort of don't. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. We'll see. So sometimes they can be gone quick. Oh, look, look, look at him. He's trying. He's yeah. trying around. Honestly, it's actually stressful to drive at the moment. Should we make him a cup of tea? What? What? <laughs> Nothing. I know you're just looking. It's fine, specimen of a lady. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like you're just you're kind of strutting around, aren't you? It's a little peacock. You are. Is, is this the thing is that you're right? Look, 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 look at him. <laughs> oh boy! Come and say, come and say hello. Come he doesn't like hello. to come and say hello. Come, come and say hello and talk to people. James, James doesn't like to come and say hello. James likes, like, James likes to kind of act real, kind of cool and hard. It's not like some of the others. Some of the others will come over and be friendly. <laughs> oh he, he can't walk. He, he can't walk properly, oh seriously. Dear. I know it's horrible, but you know what? You know, I have no issue with the contractors, yeah, with these guys, yeah, right? And the reason I have no issue with them personally is because they are in paid in, they're employees. Course, they're employed they're, to do a job, yeah. yeah. They're, um, they're not self-employed, you know, they're not contracted. They've worked for this company. You know, they may have worked for this company for the last 10, 15 years, Long five before years. you was even a thing. Not, yeah, long course, before you yeah. So it's not, you know, as I said, Can't they do, to just other, in just they do this, other yeah. works that isn't just ULES related. Yeah, yeah. So it's not their fault if they end up having to do two U ULES jobs a week. Of course. Uh, you know, so what are we going to turn around and say? Oh, well, because you do two ULES jobs, morally, you should quit your job and you've no, got so. a more yeah, future. I have no issue with them, but I have an issue with the security. A because of the way they've behaved. Obviously, we know how they yeah, behave on the yeah, hands. We know that a lot of them uh, assaulted people. Um, still do. 
yeah. you know, some of these, they still assault people, they still intimidate, um, and it, which not, is not part and, of their job And we know they've not been professional at all, mm. and there's been a lot of, uh, you know, SIA regulations broken, and they've just continued to do it. I mean, it's like now, he's parked across someone's drive, he shouldn't be parked across someone's drive, he doesn't care. It's, it's that attitude of they can do what they want, and they're protected, and they know that. But also, they're self-employed. Yeah. They're contracted to a security company, yeah, but yeah. they could, they could, if they really wanted to, if they really hated it that much, or had enough morals, and actually had a heart and a soul about what was right and wrong, yeah. they they would be doing their hardest to find somewhere else. And you're telling me, James has been on the, uh, all of this from day one, so since end of August. Yes, he's clearly got you know, no, so, no issues. So that. he clearly has no morals or principles. But then, who would? You know, sometimes you know money shouldn't be the be all and end all, but sometimes money talks, doesn't it? And if you're going to get paid two hundred, two hundred fifty pounds to turn up for ten minutes, or like on Friday, not bother at all and drive up and down in your car, you know, anything could happen. If we're that dangerous that they want to portray that we are TFL, all of them, they want to portray that we are dangerous, we're abusive, we're insulting, and all of that, which we're not. Why the hell? is a security in his car just driving up and down when we actually went and moved around the van. Yeah. I actually said to everyone, please just come over to the van for now. And we all stood around the van. Where was the security? <laughs> if, we're, if you're that worried, right, yeah. that we have a reputation of assaulting them or criminal damage, where was this security? Yeah. He's been paid over £200 to not even show up. Yeah. You know, yeah, people quite. should be angry about that. Yeah, they should 100%. really be angry because that, you know, further down the line is taxpayers' money. I know it's coming out of uh, the mayor's budget, yeah. but what a waste of money. You think how many security since August have been employed yeah. to stand on the streets. I mean, look, they're always on their phone, but it's on his phone. And also, you've got to be careful that this is the other issue as well. Yeah. He's got body cam. He hasn't told us if his body cam is on or not, which he should do. Yeah. You know, so that, we've, we, you know, for months now, we've pushed this with them. They still carry on. And also, you've got to be careful that even though they have got body cam, they will still take footage on their personal phone. Yeah. They have no need to do that if they're wearing body cam. Yeah, they'll still do it. Covertly. Sometimes yeah. they're even filming covertly, and again, yeah. that's not allowed. Yeah. But they just get away with it, you yeah. know. And who does this all go back to? TfL, the mayor, and yeah. basically, <coughs> it's just proving that they're prepared to break the law and be corrupt. Yeah, oh, 100%. Every yeah, that, that, that's, that's, that's what I have a problem with: is, yeah. is the blatant corruption the, the, and uh, guys, you know. Yeah, these security, they're out every single day. Every single day. They are accompanying these contractors or the cameras or the poll yeah. installers on yeah. these jobs, including putting up these signs. So the ULA signs, right? Yeah. That's Conway now. <coughs> right, OK. That's Com Conway doing that. Right. Two security they will have. <laughs> Two security. Doesn't what happens when the signs just disappear? <laughs> but, that's, but that's nearly £500 to accompany two in contractors from yeah. Conway just to put these signs up. Right. You know, so this road must be a border then? Uh, yeah, I think it comes down, doesn't it? <laughs> but That's weird. Because the obviously... border comes down, doesn't it? The US border comes down this road, doesn't it? It juts back up, I think. It juts, it kind really of juts weird. in and out. I was just thinking about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Compal Green. And Compal Green, so Fairchild Avenue is free, and this road and Coldy is free, and King Emmys is free. Right, okay. But how weird? How, how weird? Fairchild Avenue, Corner of Fairchild Avenue is school. Yeah. There's one camera there. So. Yeah. It's just all bizarre, isn't it? So it's very easy to get caught out. It's very easy to get caught out, think you're in the zone or not in the zone or not, or not quite sure. So, a bit of confusion there. Wow, well, a bit of Yeah, there would be. There's a lot of jutting in and out of crossing the boundaries. Yeah. You know, it's weird. Sometimes it even kind of really goes in and back out like that. You think of Chesington. I think that's how, how people end up getting caught and end up paying fines because yeah. they think they're okay when they're not. Yeah, it, and sometimes when you look at the map, it's really hard to see which side of the road that line actually runs. And the only way to kind of look is if you um, put in directions to go somewhere. Yeah. Which one end yeah, of that journey is either like inside or outside of the US. Yeah. If your journey is obviously inside, it and won't noticed, turn up so the map down the uh, library that day. Yeah, right. You won't know. The one that, but you know, isn't that the issue as well yeah, with uh, Chesterton yeah. 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 the way they jump in around Chesterton World Adventures, so they know what you're doing. Yeah, it's so obvious, Well, it's so obvious, isn't it? It's like, we'll put it around there because we know we're going to get lots of tourists who are going to be prepared to pay it because, you know, if they're not, then... And a lot of them 
might know either. No, until we get an idea. Exactly. I think that's the problem. And then that's a whole issue in itself, in a way which TfL work, even with any of their fines, whether it's the congestion charging fine, but also that's what I'm saying is happening. A lot of people aren't even getting the first two fines through the post office. Yes, they get several fines before they realise they've been fined. Well, they have, yeah, because they haven't sent them. They send the third fine out, which is the first one you're actually receiving for nearly £270. Pounds, and yes. then they, oh, yeah. they tell you you can do a statutory de declaration, but actually you can't. You have to wait for the recovery. Order for recovery. Right, yeah. okay. Which you that, that's, on that's taught me something, because I didn't know Money that. Money making. So you have to wait for order for recovery before you can do a statutory declaration. So well, once you do that, it goes back to the original penalty charge notice. And then, of course, you can argue it. And I did, I did have but a success with that, you because someone had like 10 fines. They then said, oh, you didn't send the 10, uh, I didn't get know about the 10 fines until I had 10 fines and it had escalated. She managed to do a statutory declaration, got all of them back to £90, but then said, I'm going to offer you £12.50 for all of the 10 fines and was successful, just paid the £12.50. So that was, well, I that might was, need uh, your help on the congestion charge then because yeah. obviously I got the third The fine. argument is that you didn't know about it until... I never got until, one. Yeah. 100% never yeah. ever got one, which is how I know that they're not sending them out because this is happening to so many people. I yeah. got the third fine, £270. I did a statutory declaration. They stamped it and said there was nothing on the system. So I was like, OK, well, it's not there. And it was a good whole month later, at least. Have you done it again since? Yes, that I got the right, order okay. for recovery. Yep. And I phoned them up and I said, look, I've done a statutory declaration. I've got it stamped here by you to say that you've not got it on the system. He said, you can't do it at that stage. You have to wait to order recovery. But then if you do a statutory saying that you've never received the fine, and then you have to wait to do the next statutory. You have to wait for it to go up first. I've done two now, yeah. saying that I've never received them, but obviously I've got evidence to say that I received them before. Yeah, but that doesn't matter about the receipt of one before. You're still entitled to have yeah. the notice to recover. Notice it's, to it just feels like it's all done to really confuse to stitch you, you make up. it difficult, so that they just get this money regardless, because they're just a law unto themselves. The whole system's wrong. We know it's wrong. People try and fight it. They get stressed out, you, you know? Yeah, yeah. I know someone who's had, just through one fine alone, it's just escalated so much in court costs that it, it's, it's a ridiculous amount. What yeah. do you do then? Yeah, it's affecting people's mental yeah. health and God knows what. Yeah, it is. Anyway, I've been recording for 22 minutes, so I'm going to say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want to steal Claire's thunder. No, you've got me smoking. Oh, sorry. Oh, she's not smoking. She's, no, I'm not smoking. No, she's, she's given up. She's been a non-smoker. Well, admittedly, for, I do smoke She's been a, a non-smoker for 20 seconds. <laughs> I was a non-smoker. I started smoking when I started doing this, and now I smoke about 40 a day because oh, this is so no. stressful. That's oh, what dear. it is. Oh, well, we're very <laughs> grateful for you. We're very grateful for your efforts. <laughs> we're, all, we're all becoming smokers and drinkers through this. Yeah. And we're all going to be in the mental health system as well. Because <laughs> we're all losing our minds. Yeah, the prime. <laughs> right, bye for yeah. now.